Yeah, we'll chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll chill. What's good, everybody? We're back up in here with another video, another reaction. What's and good? this is Chief Keith added to National Fugitive. Phew, I messed up that word. Fugitive database by Illinois Police. So, yeah. Let's now go I ahead and get what that's about. So, you can push that button. Find out. Let's go ahead Come and on, I really want to know what it's about. <laughs> like, let's start it. This with DJ get them now the human embodiment of pure evil, Shyrax Baphomet, and the top flight mumbling drone. Chief so hard. I've always, like, said, I've always said that Shyrax Savages. They can look so simple. Modern day version of domestic terrorists. Shit, if you don't believe me, Chief Sosa actually threatened to blow up a whole goddamn state. Well, this time he, he really, he really put Blow it. Blow up a whole state. It is being reported that Chief Sosa, yes, Almighty Sosa, um, glow gang or no oh, gang, boss. He has. I feel that you saw what he just in said. A database for national. Well, he said he was going 110. Mm -hmm. Let me just first tell you the. I feel it. That's the first buying a fast car. Like what? Done and what does it actually mean? Now, first and foremost, um, I've always said that Chief he, he, he pretty much has the worst handlers known to man. They clearly don't give a fuck about his future. They only care about the income he could bring in today. So now, the Almighty yep. Sos, he got a marijuana charge back when he was living in the outskirts of, of, of Chirac in Highland Park. Now, this was actually a misdemeanor charge. It's a weed charge, misdemeanor. However, when you're a fucking super savage, super savage fool. <laughs> now, when, when you're a super savage, a little weed charge can't hold you back. What the fuck? Bathman, who's 19 years of age, he was driving a 2010 Jeep Grand Cherokee on March 5th in Highland Park, switching lanes, smoking on the cool back, all that skrr, skrr, all that fuckery. He's now, all that skrr, he was probably skrr. with a Saudi at the time, so he was probably doing that, switching lanes. But it's a fucking savage. With the, who's rich? Come on now. Now, police noticed that, number one, his registration had expired because we know that savages, they ain't got no time to go to no DMV. <laughs> fucking fuckery up and on your, your fucking yeah, registration. Savage. The only thing you're reading up on is your goddamn carton of coon packs. But, <laughs> obviously, because he was swerving, he wasn't keeping the car straight, police pulled him over. And they said once they approached their Jeep, they were slapped with the whip of Damn. Chirac's finest cushery. Okay. It was the old block OG Kush. Now, obviously, they gave him a sobriety test. He obviously failed. And honestly, I don't even know how I feel about that. I kind of feel offended that the police would think that Chief Sosa would actually be able to recite the alphabet backwards, even fucking solar. I can't Why do you, you, Come on, I don't Z. think Chief Keith could say the it's alphabet kinda, It's kind of hard to do. No way. I, I wouldn't even give him that fucking uh, sobriety test. Now, they actually uh, locked him up. And when he was arrested, there was a court date set. That was some bull. I feel like he didn't it. give a fuck about court because he missed that appearance too. Then the court issued a fifty thousand dollar bench warrant for Chief Keith, and of course, yeah, he never obviously showed up for that. He was already never turned himself in. So what really happened is that his initial bond that he got out of jail the first time on the marijuana charge actually got forfeited. So his bond got forfeited because he missed another court date. And then officials in Holland Park, because they're tired of his fucker, even though he lives in the hills of L.A. now, <laughs> they actually said to the judge, we need to do something because he's never going to be coming back. Now, they got in contact with his lawyer because he does have a lawyer. And right. this is the most damning part of it all, because I've been telling you that Chirac's bathroom was barred from entering back into Chirac. Now, his attorney responded to Holland Park officials saying that Chief Keith had no future plans of returning to Illinois because of threats that has been made upon his life. You know, them moms be tripping, dog. The opposite are tripping. They tripping right now. They ain't trying to go back. Now, because of that, the judge says he has shown blatant disrespect for the court process and also court proceedings and given the green light for his ass to be put on a federal fugitive national database. If you're wondering oh, wow. what the fuck that means. It means if he gets pulled over in, let's say, Idaho, New York, well, he won't be coming to Jersey, um, Pennsylvania, any fucking state, even fucking Alaska, he will be arrested upon sight. Now, damn, 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 his damn. cameras gives, obviously gives no fucks about him. Why should you? As a fan, you want him to provide the music. If he goes to jail for a little while, whatever. It's either he doesn't care or his handlers don't give a fuck, so you can't care for an artist. Now, as long as he doesn't drop a fucking nuke 
on New Jersey, we're fucking cool. But now, at this point, this whole story doesn't even surprise me at all. Really, this is Chief Key, so this is what we've come to expect from him. This is kind of the norm. But on a side note, though, watching the BT Hip Hop Awards last night, I kept thinking, damn, man, Chief Key should be here performing, man. This is type of hood, type of atmosphere, type of award show. This is like the Source Awards that's in 2014. He would fit perfectly here. He should be killing this shit. I saw Migos doing that thing, and I'm like, damn, if Chief Key was really focused, this would be him, him on stage, and everybody would love him. Then I realized, basically, Chief Keith has said, fuck the entire process yeah, okay. of being, number one, a law-abiding citizen, number two, being a musician, <laughs> he's just doing him to the campaign, he's up from those couple years of work, and now he's, he, he's not even caring to compromise that he can get bigger, or get back on a national platform, or even increase his brand. He's cool with just being around and being a rich savage for, for now. And we know, eventually, maybe not now, maybe not in two years, maybe not in three years. But eventually oh, those bookings are going to slow it. up and you're going to wish you had a longer bankroll that could fund your lifestyle for the rest of your life and then yeah. KK's life. So, you guys get a combo box, man. What do you guys think about this? Right. He has been entered yeah, into the national And they see him, even in Los Angeles, they will be arresting him. If he's uh, he confronted by any type of police, <laughs> it, that he rest in him. So, you want DJ Dummies? Make sure you guys like them. He rest in him. God damn. So, 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 so. Come on, Chief. So, so, so. So, you just a savage like that? Don't care, don't give I mean, a fuck. I mean, you could be a savage, but you gotta get at least a few more meals, you know I what I'm saying? So that court, way for you your whole straight. life, you good. You ain't gotta release no more albums or nothing. Your whole rest of your life, you'll be good. But based off the bank road that you had before, yeah, no. That ain't gonna last long. He probably already drained 90, 80% of that shit. I'm probably all the time. He's probably working on his rap. Then you gotta realize now that you gotta go back for the court, now you got court fees, all that stuff all over again, too. So, yeah, that's gone. You kind of fuck. Fuck just. Now, go ahead. Do it like. You know how people be uh, making albums in jail? They do that. Yeah. But, anyways, I hope y'all like the video. Like and subscribe. We'll holler at y'all later. Going Peace. to court is what he don't like. <laughs> don't like